Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl, Sharon, once again from my front seat, giving God all the praise, honor, and the glory. Guess what? No carpet on the back seat. Hey. Yeah, but now all the stuff on the floor and the seat. Yeah, I got to get that out now. But hey, I'm working on it. Work in progress. That would be me. Did I say this is your girl Sharon once again from my front seat, giving God all the praise, honor and the glory? OK, I have to stay focused so I don't just go off on a tangent. Right. Uh, but I'm driving into work today and I'm thinking of something that or remembering something a girlfriend said to me. She said, but Sharon, when you're driving, you set the pace. Now, oftentimes, cars behind me, they honk. They give me the lily, y'all. They be giving me the lily. Y'all know what the lily is, right? So they give me the middle finger. They put their high beams on me. They get up on my tail. I'm like, okay, I'm not going any faster than what I can go. Highway patrolman said, if the speed limit is 65, the speed limit is 65 on the freeway. He said, there's no such thing as a fast lane or a slow lane. The lanes are all the same. Now, if you drive slower or if you are a slow moving vehicle, yes, you're in, I guess it would be that outside lane. He said there's no fast lane. There's no slow lane. There's like lanes one, two, three, four or one, two, three, four, five or one, two, three, depending on the highway you're on. Right. So but um, my girlfriend said to me, she said, but you know what, Sharon, see how those cars are zooming. She said, you're setting the pace. So if you're going fast and if you have to slam on your brakes and they have to slam on their brakes, but at the speed you're going and if you're the car that's setting the pace, then everything behind you, they're at your pace. So if something should happen and you should have to, you know, quickly stop and they have to quickly stop, chances are they're not going to ram into you. Why? because they're driving the speed limit. Or if you're behind me, ha, you probably going under the speed limit. But I just thought about that this morning and I wanted to share that with you. And I'm only speaking for the state of California because that's where I live. But quit going so fast on the highway, y'all. If anybody ought to observe the signs on the road, it ought to be a Christian. That's what Paul, Paul, Deacon, Jesse Wise told us years ago. So as you all know, I'm like this 51 year old college freshman, right? So last semester or the first half of the fall, I struggled in English. I was like, I haven't written an essay in 30 some years. I don't know what an APA format or what's a template. What are you talking about? What do you mean? What structure? I don't know. I struggled and I didn't really know the computer as far as, you know, the work that I was doing. And having to browse and upload and make a folder and this, that, and the other. So you all bless me through it. You all help me to get through all of that. Hi, Alicia Jackson. I'm going to answer as soon as I finish this. So, you know, you all help me to get through all of that and my assignments and get everything done and just all of that. So my counselor calls, called me, okay, and was like, Hey, Sharon, what are you doing this semester? I'm like, what do you mean? She said, do you realize you struggled that first half in your English? I said, yes, I did finish with a C plus, a strong C, right? She said, and I just remember your struggles and your grades and this. What are you doing? And I said, well, what do you mean? And she says, do you realize you have like an A plus in this year's in this semester's, you know, English class? And I just said to God be the glory. She said, and do you realize that this professor is one of the toughest professors? What are you doing? And it was almost like she was saying everything other than who's doing your work for you or what's happening. And I just had to break it down to her. I hadn't been to school in like 30 some years, 32, 33 years. I did a semester of college and then I did a semester of college, you know, some years later. I said, but I just didn't know anything about formatting and this and that. And I learned all of that and I'm still learning. And I just give God the glory for it. Y'all, I believe she thought I was cheating or that somebody was doing my work for me. She said, because and she just kept going on and going on. And what are you doing? What's different this semester? And I wanted to say, lady, what you trying to say? But I didn't. I just gave God the glory. So, beloved, just give God the glory. They might doubt you, but give God the glory and slow down when you're on the road. So, tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. So, be kind and then let the kindness that you have on this season 
or in this season, follow you throughout every season. I think the Jackson said it when they said, uh, give love on Christmas Day. They, I think they said it. They, they did. The Jackson Five. They had a song, Give Love on Christmas Day. And then other groups also did a song. I don't know who did it first, y'all, but there is a Jackson Five version. So give love on Christmas Day. And that same love that you're giving. And Marilyn, I'm going to hit you up. I am because they still chapped. I am, but I can't tell Kim and I can't tell Katina. But I'm going to hit you up. I love you all. This is your girl Sharon. You know what I'm about to say. Let me get out of this car. Go inside and render unto Caesar those things which belong to Caesar. And if it be the Lord's will, tomorrow. Same time, same place. Right here from my front seat. This is your girl Sharon. Once again, I am out. Peace.